Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have a super awesome video for you guys today. Check this out. This is a video that I posted yesterday and I got an awesome comment from this person from Mark saying, can you make a video for Dallas? And then I got another comment saying if I can make one for Cincinnati, Ohio. Of course I can. We're gonna make this video about Dallas and I'm gonna go ahead and make another video about Cincinnati. So let's jump right in, check this out. If we go over to Zillow.com and we type in, you know, obviously Dallas, Texas on the top, and I do have this uh, uh, the filter set to 90 days. Why do I have it set for 90 days? Because I'm looking for price reductions in the Dallas area, right? Now, I'm not totally familiar with the Dallas area. I know that there's some amazing lakes. Uh, I know some people that have moved here to get some of these lake uh, properties. And I mean, look at all these lakes. I mean, this is amazing. So in general, guys, we're looking for houses with price reductions, right? Uh, this will give us, you know, a kind of a good sense of, of what is really happening in the housing market. Now, look at this one. The first one we find right here is $20,000 off, $360,000 house. Whoa, look at this kitchen. This kitchen is insane. This is, wow, wow, this is a, this is insane. This is an insane find. Look at this, guys. $360,000. They took off $20,000 off the top. So that's a big, big savings right there. They had it listed at four, uh, 380. Even at 380, just by looking at this kitchen, I could tell you that it's pretty insane. Uh, 2,500 square foot, four bedroom, three bath. This is a steal. My God, look at this. Brand new floors, beautiful fireplace. The outside looks really, really nice. Seems like it's kind of out there. It doesn't look like a very populated area. You know, you're gonna have to drive, you know, to get your coffee or whatever. But still, this house looks insane. Ba this bathroom is a small little bathroom. Again, it looks kind of nice. Uh, kitchen is beautiful. Look at that walk-in closet. Look at this. This is, see guys, what you guys need to understand is if you were to build this house from scratch, it would cost you a hell of a lot more than $360,000. And that's why we're seeing a lot of con um, home builders, you know, hit the pause on building houses. Because just to build this with the kitchen and, and everything else, this would be way above three hundred and eighty, dollars And you could buy this house basically fully done for um, you know, three, uh, 360 is what I meant to say. So again, this is a fine insane look this is a nice bathroom all redone all new floors this looks like a contractor came in here and basically uh you know remodeled the whole house again this is a beautiful find and twenty thousand off man that they are motivated because they got a nice house right there if we keep scrolling down look at this look at in comparison right this again wow this is a big house too two car garage uh, 2,500 square foot, again, four bedroom, uh, three bathroom. Now they are listed at 384, more expensive than the last house, but they do have a f almost a $15,000 price cut. What does this mean? At, at the end of the day, guys, if you're starting to see price cuts, you start putting in offers, basically undercutting them. On something like this, I would be, you end up finding problems with the house, they, then you could then negotiate the price down. So you might come in and say, eh, you know, this, this looks a little bit off, you know, I'm not totally happy what, you know, what happened with this and that. And then you, you kind of, you might say, you know, the kitchen's a little bit outdated or whatever. And then you offer, you know, I would offer 340 for this just to see if they bite. Again, it's a negotiation. If they don't have anybody else interested in the house, then you guys somewhat meet in the middle. Imagine picking this up for 360, 365. This will be a fine look, all brand new floors, this is move in ready, nice backyard. Uh, these things right here alone, these things are expensive, okay? To build something like this, you're looking at 10, 15 grand, maybe maybe even a little bit more depending on you know the foundation and whatnot, if you have to do any work with that. But again, nice backyard. Uh, house, uh, there's, you know, kind of wish there was more windows here. There's, you know, I, I don't like the shape of the house, but I love the price and inside is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Again, I wanna also point out something guys, always be on the lookout for single story houses. Single story homes tend to, you know, keep their value a little bit more. 
uh, because as people get older, they can't go up the stairs with ease anymore. So those single, those uh, one-story ho- homes, man, they fly off the shelf uh, because they're very desirable. So if you ever find a fixer, uh, uh, one-bedroom fixer upper, you know, always, you know, think about it, right? Now check this house out. This is the one I wanted to show you. Two hundred and eighty-five thousand, fourteen thousand dollar price cut. It's really close to a nice little lake. This could be a good find. Look at this, 285,000, eight, almost 1,900 square foot. This is a decent size. This is not small. This is, you know, it's borderlines on the small side. I think 2,000 square foot for me is perfect. Uh, but again, three bedroom, two bath, pretty nice. 285 guys with almost $14,000 off the off the asking price. So they were trying to get 300 for it, close to it and uh, they were nobody's biting. So look, this is move in ready again. A little on the small side, especially for Texas. But oh my God, look, they have a little casita in the back. Oh my God, I I kind of like this house. Guys, it's 285, okay? It's by a lake. Look, it's by this lake over here. It's right next to the lake. I mean, this is cute, cute, cute. This is awesome, dude. I love this little back. Uh, I'm definitely looking um, for a house with a little shed, little mini house and stuff like that. So again, house is moving ready. 285 I mean what would your mortgage would be like uh, possibly I want to say if you put 20% down your mortgage will be like about a thousand bucks you know hovering around a thousand bucks maybe a little bit less with the interest rates it may be a little bit more but yeah this is a fine 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 man Dallas Texas coming through guys wow now we're definitely seeing price cuts now I did put 90 days on Zillow but some like again on the search right here look it tells me three days, six days. So their program doesn't work that well, but um, but you could definitely see some huge price cuts. Wow, look at this one. This is a freaking insane one. Now this one has 25,000 off, 475. This one is closer to the city center. They were, uh, so they wanted to sell it for 500,000. Nobody was biting and they took off 25,000 off the top. Look at this. Four bedroom, three bath, again, almost 2,500 square foot. Seems like there's a lot of 2,500 square foot homes in Texas. Completely move-in ready, beautiful floors. Oh man, this house is really nice. But you know what? Oh wow, that backyard is insane. Looks like it's in a really nice neighborhood too. This is one to look at. There's most likely going to be an HOA here. Oh wow, annual, oh not bad. Annually 750. That's not bad for uh, HOA. Again, really pretty. You know, this is one of those houses. You gotta just make sure you like the neighborhood, you like the neighbors, and you could see yourself living here. Again, for Texas, 475 seems a little steep from all the other houses that we've been watch, uh, looking at. But again, you could see those price cuts. The prices are coming down. Um, this is fun. Now, this is what you have to do. If you're looking to buy a house, the idea is you gotta find neighborhoods that you like, you need to do the research, you kind of jump in, you start looking at what's available, and you you know, you basically, you get, you meet with a realtor, and then you start going to open houses. Now, you don't really need a realtor at the beginning. If you're more of a professional and you've done this for a long time, you know, Sundays you get in your car and you go driving and you go to visit some open houses, right? You start talking to the realtor selling the houses, you start asking, are they motivated sellers? Will, you know, have you got any uh, any offers yet? What are the offers coming in above asking price? These are things because it's, again, it's a business negotiation. And at the end of the day, you're really trying to get um, the price down as low as possible. So you need to figure out if these people are motivated. And if you like the house and you like, and they're, you might think that they're motivated and you could get a good deal on it. Hey, you know, you go in there and you basically, um, get your inspector and you try to find something with that might be wrong with the house and you use that as negotiating power, right? Very fun, I mean, buying a house is a lot of fun, but it is a lot of work. And Dallas, you know, if I would, I'm, I haven't been to Dallas, I hear great things about it. I would think like if I was moving here, I would probably wanna research these lakes and look for some type of lakefront property. Now, obviously when you get to the lakes, you could see the prices go, you know, to 1 million bucks. But, you know, again, I wouldn't mind being, you know, a block away from the from the lake, you know, uh, for half the price. Right. 
So that's always something to look at. Um, I hear this is really the way to go is, is the lakes in Dallas are just insane. Now, if we jump over to the Redfin weekly, uh, Redfin weekly housing market data, we could see that homes, home uh, that the, in Dallas, Texas, the median sale price has come down, sort of stabilized maybe with the rates when they kind of went back up. But now that the, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, when the rates slightly went back down, stabilized the price, but now we know that the rates are going back up. So we are going to see this keep, continue to drop. So we'll start seeing more and more uh, price cuts. So really fun. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video and I just wanna say a big thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos and supporting my channel and leaving comments. Thank you guys so much. If you're new to my channel and you like my videos, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.